I'm going to demonstrate now how to use GoAnimate. This is what the GoAnimate video maker looks like. The scene is on the right, the content library is on the left, an overview of the video is at the bottom. GoAnimate provides a wide range of backgrounds. Let's first replace the current background. Click the background tab and drag over a new one. The current background is automatically replaced. To add a character, click on the Character tab and drag one over like this. It's also really easy to add extra objects to the scene called Props. Click on the Props tab and then click on Others. Find the prop that you like and drag it over. Move the prop backward and adjust its position and size using the controls. It is time to make our character perform an action. To add an action, click on the character. In the Actions tab, we can pick an action from the many available. Type in Walk and click on the action. You can see a movement is automatically added. We can drag the end position for the walk. Let's now select the Voice tab and enter a line. We will use text-to-speech, but you can also import your own audio file or even record yourself using the microphone. Choose the desired language and voice type. When you are ready, click on Add Voice and the voice is automatically added to the scene. It is beautiful to walk in the park. In the timeline, individual scenes are represented by thumbnails. To add a new one, click on the plus icon. The second scene can have a different background from the first one. Click on the preview button on the top right to see your video. It is beautiful to walk in the park. When we are happy with our video, press save. 